Bluetooth is king in the wireless personal area networking or WPAN space. In January 2008, the Bluetooth industry celebrated the fact that more than 1 billion Bluetooth devices had been shipped since kickoff in 1998. Management and development of the technology is handled by the Bluetooth Special Interest Group, or SIG, a trade association with more than 10,000 member companies. Bluetooth may have already enjoyed a phenomenal growth rate, but it doesn't stop there. The SIG is now implementing a new version known as Bluetooth Low Energy Wireless Technology. This solution comes about as the result of a successful collaboration between leading lights in the technology industry. How so? Well, in October 2006, Nokia launched a low-power wireless personal area networking technology called Wibri. In June 2007, Wibri became part of the Bluetooth ecosystem as an ultra-low-power extension of the technology. This version, now known as Bluetooth Low Energy Wireless Technology, is the subject of this feature and differs in some significant ways from what we know today as Bluetooth. The biggest differentiator to other technologies is that Bluetooth Low Energy will get access to mobile phones and computers. It's the connectivity to Bluetooth that you get with the, with the Bluetooth Low Energy. Bluetooth Low Energy is the first open and therefore interoperable short-range radio technology. The cost of adding Bluetooth Low Energy to standard Bluetooth devices is very little, and so the potential market for Bluetooth Low, low Energy is huge. So, Bluetooth Low Energy consumes a fraction of the power compared to classic Bluetooth or other technologies competing in the same space. It is also the first open standard technology connecting mobile devices or personal computers with small button cell battery powered devices such as watches, toys and medical and sports sensors. Standards are important if high volumes are to be achieved. Standardizing uh, ways of connecting is really important and that is why uh, Bluetooth has been so successful. I automatically think of how many units have actually been sold and typically a standard would sell a billion units for example and if you look at Bluetooth well we've sold it double that. A lot of these people are just waiting for a standard to go in that direction. I think that uh, from consumer point of view it's very good to have a standardized uh, technology because uh, it actually gives consumers more choices. So who will we see implementing Bluetooth low energy wireless technology? Well the Bluetooth SIG has identified a number of different groups of companies and they can be separated into tiers. Tier 1 companies are product manufacturers in key industries such as sports and fitness, healthcare, watches and mobile phones. Today, some of these manufacturers are already producing products or solutions based around low-power wireless technologies. To have a watch that you can actually see who's calling, etc. And this exists today only the fact that it uses too much battery because it's Bluetooth. The cell phone is the obvious uh, initial target. I'm really looking forward to applications uh, that kind of help me to avoid carrying several devices with me. I think uh, uh, seeing uh, Bluetooth Low Energy built into clothes, uh, clothes is a real uh, possibility and I don't think in too distant future, yes. In healthcare, where there is also some overlap with the fitness sector, the two largest markets are blood glucose meters and blood pressure monitors. The SIG has aligned with the Continua Health Alliance, which has set out to establish a system of interoperable personal telehealth solutions. The health industry is highly regulated though, and the support of organizations such as Continua can help speed the acceptance process. There is already Bluetooth applications in that industry and it's quite quickly grow growing. One very important thing is uh, collaboration with Continue Alliance. Continue Alliance is really a number of companies within the medical area that's gone together and are trying to standardize or specify uh, technologies to connect various medical devices. It's uh, a really small path from the sport wellness to the consumer health. CSR demonstrated Bluetooth Flow Energy in the middle of April this year, so we're pretty close to having silicon ready. The next group 
or Tier 2, would be product manufacturers in industries such as toys, gaming and entertainment, the automotive sector, and office and mobile productivity. And then we have Tier 3, which is product manufacturers in industrial and home automation and the fashion industry. These sectors offer huge potential, but today are probably the furthest away from implementation. So where do things go from here? Well, the SIG has started up a Bluetooth Low Energy Wireless Technology Evangelism Committee. Outside, it's working with mobile operators to promote the opportunities for the mobile phone industry, as many of the proposed applications will provide a gateway to the internet. Having sports equipment that could also connect directly to your cell phone and then to the internet to have a, a internet service, that, that sounds, sounds interesting. The wide range of new application areas for Bluetooth Low Energy will really open up some exciting new markets for us. This uh, enables real-time sharing uh, of physical condition or, or some environment, uh, environmental uh, data. Web communities are becoming more and more uh, important these days, and so I think that is a really natural uh, evolution in, as well. According to global market research company IMS, the total available market for low energy wireless connectivity in 2008 is 4 billion units. IMS predicts that it will be built into 100 million mobile phones in 2010. That's an attach rate of 8%, and then into the majority of mobile phones in the next five years. The cell phone market will remain very important, but Bluetooth low energy wireless technology will expand the potential market far beyond the classic Bluetooth market and the cellular handset and headset. Nokia really early saw the, the benefit of going to a low power technology and I think this will definitely take the mobile phone to the next level. That's what I think. We in Nokia believe that consumers will see very many new very exciting and innovative applications and services when the Bluetooth low energy technology comes to the market. We'll be able to have low energy devices with uh, lifetimes measured in years. Definitely uh, Bluetooth low energy will be a big boost into many new areas and I'm really excited to see what will happen. Be in no doubt that the Bluetooth SIG will pursue its goals with some vigour. The SIG is confident that with the Bluetooth Low Energy Wireless Technology solution, it is securing Bluetooth technology as the long-term choice for wireless personal area networking applications.